Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the more brutal weapons in Fallout. This is going to be the Ripper and the Chainsaw, because the Chainsaw is kind of just an upscaled version of the Ripper, or I guess other way around if you want to look at it like that. So the Ripper has been in basically every single Fallout game. I think that it has. I haven't played 76 still, so it might not be in that one, but I'm pretty sure it's in the first one, it's in the second one, it's in Tactics in the third one, in the fourth one, so the Ripper has been around for quite a while. And this is a little portable handheld chainsaw. We even seen it in the TV show too, which is pretty cool. So the Ripper you can actually get fairly early on too. You might actually be able to get this as soon as you get down to Nipton, because if you're willing to kill the Legion Commander there, you can take a Ripper off of his body. And Rippers actually aren't too hard to find, at least some of the time throughout New Vegas. And they do make for a pretty decent early game melee weapon or a mid game melee weapon. You can also buy these from the Gunrunners. Both of these weapons you can actually buy from the Gunrunners because they both have a Gunrunners Arsenal version of them which can accept mods. The regular versions can't. At least I don't think so. Maybe there was one for the chainsaw. I can't remember though. If so, I think it's just a lightweight frame which is still useful for it but not as useful as like getting a Gunrunners Arsenal version where you can mod it out even further. So the Ripper requires 50 melee weapons and 3 strength wield, which is fairly low for a melee weapon. You don't actually need to have that much strength, which is pretty awesome. This one does 50 damage per hit, which is fairly high. 50 damage per second, which damage and damage per second are basically the same for this weapon. And same with like the chainsaw and the thermic lance too, because he's hit multiple times in quick succession. It's very similar to the industrial hand, which we talked about not too long ago. The Ripper has a big old 5 for crit damage, so not very high. Although that makes sense for a weapon that hits this often. I think the only one that actually has a high crit damage is the Industrial Land. The Ripper, the Chainsaw, and the Thermic Lance, not as much. This one has a one times crit modifier, which can be fine because this hits more often than other melee weapons. So it's more likely to hit crits, even though its crits aren't very high. Which makes it so if you want to build a crit melee build, this one can work. Or if you want to go in the exact opposite direction and not go with any crits and go with something like Heavy Handed as a trait, then the Ripper does actually work quite well in that sort of build. This one requires 65 action points to use in VATS, a lot of action points. These type of weapons just aren't really the best to be using in VATS. It does have a unique VATS attack, just like all the melee weapons, that's called Long Cut. This one is okay overall. I don't really see it as that much of an advantage over the regular Ripper attack, and neither one of them are way great in VATS. The Ripper weighs 6 weight, so it's not super heavy, not the lightest melee weapon, but not super heavy either. This one has 1200 item health, so a lot of health. This actually takes a very long time to break, since even though this is hitting multiple times really fast, it still doesn't break super quick. That's still a lot of health for it. And then the effect of both the Ripper and the Chainsaw is that they both ignore damage resistance and damage threshold. So it doesn't matter whether you're fighting the biggest, baddest armored enemy in the game, or if you're fighting a non-armored enemy, you're going to be doing the same amount of damage regardless and the same amount of damage per second, which does make it so these weapons are uniquely good against fighting certain types of enemies like the giant rad scorpions, brotherhood members, uh, other heavily armored enemies too, death claws as well where you don't have to worry about their armor. For the general pros of the ripper and the chainsaw, these ones both do really high damage and really high damage per second. If you can just stand there and keep hitting something with the chainsaw or with the ripper, you're going to be killing it very very fast, it doesn't really matter what it is. And even though they have really high item HP, it can actually go even higher with the mods, so they don't break very fast either, which is really cool. I guess another pro to this is that they are Gunrunners Arsenal versions, so you can buy them from other vendors throughout the wasteland. So you might be able to get a Gunrunners Arsenal chainsaw or a Ripper really early on as opposed to some other weapons that you might not be able to do that with. You can do kind of the same thing with like the baseball bat or the katana, which are also really good early game melee weapons and even really good late game melee weapons. The cons to these though are that they have very high action point costs and they're not really the best to be using in bats. The chainsaw has a little bit of an exception with that with its unique ability called scrap heap, but that's because it does less damage but it also takes less action points so it's not as bad in bats. The Ripper isn't really the greatest in bats though, and the regular chainsaw just hitting normal attacks also isn't necessarily the best, although it's not terrible for closing distance quickly though either. And they both have low crit damage, so hitting crits with these you may not actually benefit that much from a melee crit build. It still wouldn't be bad with these because you can still rack up the damage per second just thanks to that build. But you could also go with a non-crit build and just go for a melee damage build and these ones can also work really well. For an overall rating for the Ripper, I think I'd probably put this one into B tier on my tier list. It, this weapon, I'm just going to say up front though, is not really my type of weapon. I usually don't go for the Ripper. I think it's cool and I do like it. 
but it's not one of my favorite like one-handed melee weapons. I'll usually go with something like Blood Nap or the Bowie Knife or Chance's Knife or something like that over it, or maybe the War Club over something like the Ripper. We do have a modified version of the Ripper that we need to talk about too though. So if you do have the Gunner's Arsenal version of the Ripper, you can actually put two mods on this. You can put the heavy duty chain on this, which increases the durability of the Ripper by 50%. So it goes from that 1200 total item HP up to 1800 item HP, making it so it takes forever to break. The Ripper actually lasts a very long time if you wanna do this. And then the other one that I would say is more important for the Ripper is the Carbide Teeth. These ones give you an additional 10 base damage to the Ripper, so you go from a base damage of 50 all the way up to 60. Modified Ripper is going up into A tier. I think it's actually even better than the regular one, and it's a pretty decent melee weapon overall. Let's talk about perks right now, too, that can help out these weapons. So we've already went over heavy-handed. That's not really a perk, it's a trait, but it is something that you could take, and these are weapons that you could consider for that build, and it can work quite well. Slayer also helps out with these, where you get higher damage per seconds because it still affects the attack speed, which can be really useful. And heavyweight affects the chainsaw itself, since it is a fairly heavy weapon and it can have its weight cut in half, so that's pretty nice. You could also take Purifier, which gives you more damage against certain enemy types too. That one's really nice. Piercing Strike isn't really necessary for these weapons because they already punch through armor, but Piercing Strike is really good for a melee or an unarmed build, so I would recommend that one. And Super Slam doesn't really work with these ones either. You don't usually knock down enemies. Let's move over to the Chainsaw now, which the Chainsaw is a pretty cool weapon. You can find this throughout New Vegas too. There are a couple enemies that can carry around Chainsaws. Legion hit squads usually carry this around or the Thermic Lance around. The Legion members themselves can carry around chainsaws too. They're probably going to be the most likely enemies to be carrying them around. And at least the Fiend Leader Motor Runner also has a chainsaw on him. So you can take that off of him at any time if you want to go to that vault and take care of him. The chainsaw requires 75 melee and 7 strength to wield. So fairly high, but not actually one of the highest of the melee weapons. This one does 80 damage and 80 damage per second. This is very similar to the Ripper where you just want to hold this on to enemies so it's going to do similar damage. This one has a big old 8 for crit damage, so a bit higher if you're hitting crits with the chainsaw, but still not very high. One times crit modifier, which is perfectly fine. This one also requires 65 action points to use. Scrap Heap, its unique attack, requires half of that, so it is better to be using, but it also does half the damage, which makes it okay to be using with the chainsaw in VATS. It's still not one of the best VATS weapons, but it's okay enough then. The chainsaw weighs 20 weight, so it is very heavy. This can be cut down with heavy weight, which would cut it down to 10 weight. And this has 1600 item HP, so it already has more item HP than the Ripper. This one also ignores damage threshold and damage resist, same as the Ripper, which is really useful. And I find that the chainsaw is just pretty much an upgrade from the Ripper. It's also one of my more favorite melee weapons to be using. Also, if you're a fan of like Texas Chainsaw, you could be running around as a real life leather face with the chainsaw even if the real life leather face that that one's based off never used a chainsaw, but whatever. The regular chainsaw, I think I'd put pretty high up into my tier list. I'd put this one right onto S tier. It's pretty good. Let's talk about the modded version of the chainsaw now, which again is a Gunner's Arsenal version, so you can get three mods for the chainsaw as well. These ones you can buy at all sorts of different vendors, which can be really, really useful too, because you can get those potentially early on. I find a lot of vendors actually sell the chainsaw unique parts to them, but not every vendor will actually sell the chainsaw to you, so... You might be able to actually accumulate all of the parts, all the mods for your chainsaw before you actually get the chainsaw. The three mods that you can get are the chainsaw alloy frame. This one drops the weight from 20 down to 12, drops it by eight. This can still be cut in half by heavy weight though and actually go to the same weight as the ripper. So it is also just six weight, which makes it so the chainsaw is actually fairly light and handy to be carrying around. You also have the carbide teeth for the chainsaw, similar to the ripper. This one gives you a plus 15 in base damage. So you go from the 80 base damage up to 95 base damage, which is a really big bonus. That one's actually really nice. And then the very last one that you can get is a heavy duty chain. Also, just like the Ripper, this one gives you 50% more item durability. So you go from 1600 item durability all the way up to 2400 item durability, making the chainsaw one of the most durable weapons in the entire game. Now, it will still potentially break quicker than other weapons just because of how often you're hitting with it, but it still takes a very, very long time for the chainsaw to actually break down. All of these just make the chainsaw overall better, and I'd put this also up into S tier, but just higher up into S tier than the regular chainsaw. These are some very fun and very brutal weapons weapons that you can be taking around the wasteland. I know a lot of people really like the chainsaw. Some people really like the Ripper and I like the look of it. I just don't really care for the feel of it. Tell me your thoughts on the Ripper and the chainsaw down in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye everybody.